Good afternoon, everyone. It's Allison here, and I am going to prepare a soup today that I want to share with you. It's a delicious recipe that is very simple to make. Also, during this video, I will be sharing important English expressions to help you boost your vocabulary in English. So let's get started. Here I have my main ingredients. As you can see here, I have one zucchini. Here I have three jalapeno peppers. Here is some fresh cilantro. And here is some basil, basil leaves. So uh, basil leaves can be quite big like this or or they can be smaller like this. And this is a delicious herb as well as this. We call these herbs in English. I caught these basil leaves just in the nick of time. They are about to turn. Turn is another expression which means rot when you refer to food. If food has turned, it means it's starting to go bad or you can't eat it anymore. It becomes rotten or sour. So I caught these just in the nick of time before they turned and started to brown. Just in the nick of time means right before. I am using these leaves just before they will turn or rot. Another expression that's very common for just in the nick of time is just under the wire. I am using these leaves just under the wire. That is a popular business expression to mean just before the deadline. If something is turned in moments before the deadline, then you have submitted something just under the wire. These jalapenos are optional for your soup. If you like heat, you can add more or less. I like these jalapenos in a creamy soup with more mild vegetables, like a zucchini. A zucchini is not spicy, so we call that mild. If you want to eliminate the heat, you can just not use peppers, but I think they add a nice kick. So a kick means a nice sharp bite or some heat to the dish. First, I am going to chop the zucchini. As I mentioned before, I'm making a creamy soup, so it will go in the blender. So the size of the pieces just need to be equal, or another word is uniform, enough so that they cook evenly, so that they cook at about the same time in the pan. Okay, I also will cook the jalapenos in the same pan. I'm going to use a knife to carefully hollow out each pepper. You could also say to scoop out the seeds and the middle of the pepper. Do you do that when you cook peppers? Let me know, comment below. Now some oil in the pan. While the zucchini and the peppers are cooking on the stove, I'm going to chop the herbs. I love cooking with herbs. I think they are so, I think they smell amazing. And they also add so much depth of flavor. Depth of flavor means that it adds a really rich or unique flavor to a dish. They also have health benefits. Did you know that? Okay, the vegetables are cooked through and are tender. So I add the herbs to gently cook them a slight bit the flavor of the herbs is released while they cook a little bit. 
Now in a blender, I'm going to put two tablespoons of butter, a couple tablespoons of flavorless oil. I'm choosing MCT oil. You can also use olive oil. Also about a half a cup of some broth. This can be anything of your choice. I'm choosing some chicken broth. I added some salt and some pepper, and I also decided to add a little bit of onion powder. I think that will go nicely. In go the vegetables and herbs, and the soup is ready to serve and eat. Delicious. Is there something that you would tweak about this recipe? Tweak means to change slightly. Maybe a spice, or maybe you would prepare a vegetable differently, or add something new to the recipe. Tweak, it can also be used in other situations than cooking. So someone may ask you to tweak something on a project, or, hey, I read your email, can you please tweak it so that it sounds a little more professional? Thanks again for joining me for this video. I'd love to hear from you. Can you please comment below? Tell me what you think of this recipe. Will you make it? Will you not? Why or why not? Great language practice for you. Thank you. Take care. Bye-bye.